This is continuing our applied beef research at the Livestock Forest Center of Excellence. Here at the Livestock Forest Center of Excellence, it's really important that we follow that calf from birth all the way to slaughter. And so we're looking at that calf when it's born here on the place, we can put it into a back running program and finally into a feedlot finishing program. This trial is testing new novel varieties of triticale called Taza and Bunker, and we are using them as a silage in backgrounding beef steers and comparing it to a conventional barley silage that is found in Saskatchewan. Backgrounding is basically growing that animal out slowly from the five month age to seven month age. The objectives of this trial are to determine the crop yield potential, silage quality between the three different varieties. We also want to analyze cow average daily gain when they're being fed the silages and then we want to do an economic analysis across the three different treatments. We are hoping to see that across the three different treatments there will be no difference in average daily gain of the steers and they will all perform the same because the diets are all isonitrogenous and isocaloric. We also want to see in terms of crop yield potential the triticales having a little bit higher of yield compared to barley and we also want to see that because of that yield difference there will be an economic benefit for farmers. But we'll find out in the spring. So after three years of data collection, we found that when we compared the yields between Bunker triticale, Taza triticale, and barley, we found that the triticale varieties yielded 10% higher compared to the barley. So this, is, this was a significant effect. And further, when we looked at the nutrient composition of the three different varieties, we found that generally barley had a higher nutrient composition compared to the triticale varieties. So we found that barley had lower fiber content and lower lignin content as well as higher starch content compared to the triticale varieties. However, when we look at the requirements for backgrounding beef cattle, we see that triticale is still a viable option. When we looked at the results of the steer performance over three years on the three different backgrounding programs, so those were diets containing either bunker triticale, taza triticale, or barley silage, we found that there was no difference. So that was based on average daily gain, dry matter intake, dry matter intake as a percent body weight, and also feed efficiency. And this is exactly what we were hoping for because when we formulated these diets, they were isonitrogenous and isocaloric. When we looked into the cost of the three different backgrounding programs, we took into consideration the actual costs of cropping, silaging, as well as the feed costs when they were in the backgrounding lot, as well as the yardage costs. Overall, when we looked at crop input costs, there was a notable difference between the cost of seed. So triticale seed generally costs around 50% more than barley seed. However, when you factor in the yield advantage that triticale has, we find that when you look at the cost of silage on a per pound dry matter basis, we find that they are exactly equivalent and it comes out to about five cents per pound of dry matter between the different silage treatments. After evaluating whether or not there was sorting going on with the triticale silage varieties that were used in the experiment and comparing that to the barley silage, we found that there was no notable difference between the treatments and there was no occurrence of sorting. Overall, when we take a step back and look at all three years of data collected, we find that although triticale silage is not superior to barley silage, we find that it has benefits in the fact that it has 10% higher yields. As well as when fed to backgrounding beef steers, the performance between barley and triticale silage was similar. So when producers are looking for a silage crop to plant, triticale, so Taza and Bunker triticale, are definitely viable options that should be considered.